Now, if you can't wait until the summer holidays to get your fix of sun, sea and sangria, then hit TV comedy Benidorm has got all of that for you. Maggie Clark and Hugh Sachs join me in just a minute. But first, a preview of this week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> see their jaws dropping. Maggie Clark and Hugh Sachs joining me now. Great to see both of you. Loving the hair. Hair but to Liverpool. <laughs> I think it's absolutely brilliant. It really suits you and it all goes with this, this great look. Great to see you on the telly. And this is a very, very, very funny series. It's, it's really Thank come into its much. own. I think the first episode was just finding its feet, you know, the first mm. series. But it's really, 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 people have really got into it now, haven't they? Yeah, oh, they love everyone it. loves yeah. it. They love it. It's so funny. Because I think we can see ourselves in there. Yeah. Because we've all gone on holiday and sort of misbehaved mm. now and again. <laughs> so you can, you can sort of see that in it. And I like your character. For people who haven't seen it, tell us about your guy. Well, I'm part of a, a gay couple. We, we got married in between episode one and two yes. and uh, I play Gavin who's always whinging, he complaining. Yes he does. Oh and Luke, what a lovely couple. <laughs> and they are. Uh, Troy who's played by the brilliant Paul Baisley, he's Funny, constantly it? chivying me up. It's like a lot of couples, one glass half empty, glass yes, half full and, yes. and, and they balance each other yes, out I suppose. And he's kind of, literally within 24 hours he's having a ball but he, it's part of his process to complain about everybody. <laughs> he would do the same in Venice or Florence, he'd say right. smelly or something. Right. And of course this year we've chummed up with the swingers, mm. Donald and Jacqueline, who are of course hilarious. And um, we run a, a, a hair salon in Derby, so we imagine that all our clients are literally waiting for us to get back for the stories <laughs> about Donald <laughs> Jacqueline. So you can tell them about it, it's fantastic. <laughs> because it's, they're so, I mean, it's, it is, it's so difficult to film because as soon as Kenny or Janine goes, oh yes, Donna, and you think within 40 seconds there's going to be an image or a story which is at least going to put you off your tea. Um, <laughs> and no, no, maybe not best not to eat then, yes. when you're watching it. And your mummy. Yes. What a young mummy. She also oh, had you when she was about, I don't know, very young. Well, <laughs> I was just delighted to make it through to a posh accent through me soul. <laughs> Posh at last. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> about time, about time too. Now this really, I mean, what a glamorous mummy, I have to say, oh, really, when fantastic. you look at her. You're absolutely beautiful, you really do. And are you in it for a while or is it kind of just in and back out again or well, how does it work? Yeah, she, she turns up out the blue. Right. And uh, I think she knows a, a pilot who's flew her in from Alicante. Ooh, okay. And she has that, them type of connections. Right. But it was fantastic to be involved. Yes. And they all made me so welcome. Mm. And one of the funny things, uh, Paul Bayless, he was at the hotel when I arrived, and he really made a big fuss over me. And I know most actors are dead friendly, and I thought, yes. where do I know that lad from? And it turns out he's another one of my TV children I gave up for adoption in a different show oh, right. <laughs> in making out years ago. <laughs> for so goodness sake. Giving these kids away everywhere, Lorraine. And then they all come back, and then they all come back, and you work with them again, That's which is not it. so bad. It's really good. Have You must have been very involved this year with the Liverpool City of Culture. Have you been doing lots of stuff for that? Yeah, I've been yeah. involved. I was uh, at St George's Hall, and um, I I'm working in radio now at City Talk, right. and I've got my own show going on there. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Is that like a talk show? Do a talk show. In? People ring oh, in. Oh, Lorraine, it's just You'd be great at that. You'd be really Life, funny. love, and the universe. Yes, absolutely. I remember when Glasgow was City of Culture, and it really did make a big difference to the city and also to people's perception of, of the city. And I always think Glasgow and Liverpool are quite similar. They are, So I'm yeah. sure that, that this will make a big difference, you know. It looks fantastic. Mm. It's worth going to see Liverpool just for the development that's happened up there. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's towers and turrets gone oh, up. beautiful. Lovely yeah. buildings. And the Scousers are getting more and more involved in it, which is great. That's, the, that's how it'll only work. I think that's why Glasgow worked, because yeah. it, it worked for the people. It was actually for them. There's no point in people parachuting in from other parts of the country, no. it's just daft, but that's, that'll but be the... But the phoenix is rising, most oh, definitely. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, they tell me that you might be coming back to Corrie. Has that yeah. even happened, do you think? I made up, I got a call out the blue. Fab. I was delighted. <laughs> because there's more lives through in his name. <laughs> Jackie Dobbs. Oh, what a great character. So this is, um, well, it makes sense that she would come back, actually. Because if her son ends up, if her on-screen son ends up getting married, you know, that'll, yeah. that'll make sense for her to come back. Well, she, she's just got out of jail. Apparently, she robbed a pair of flip-flops. <laughs> That's classy, isn't it, you? That's fantastic. I didn't know you got jailed for robbing <laughs> flip-flops. Maybe it was a whole lot of flip-flops, perhaps. I don't know. But did the two of you, you two of you, obviously, had you met each other before? Or was no. this the first no, time? No, ah, it was the first time. because you obviously get on well, which is oh, good. Oh, she's brilliant, because oh. it's such a... I've seen the episode, and she's hilarious, and it's, it's... You really... Dorothy needed to come in as this complete person who would... 
you, what's gr brilliant is that Gavin, who's always usually down, is so excited and thrilled Aww. and happy to have her there. And you needed someone who could come in with all of that. And when, as soon as they said, oh, Margie's play, I went, that is brilliant. That is Aww. inspired casting. <laughs> inspired and casting. I was delighted to get a job. It was so great for me mm -hmm. to be acting once more. I'd been working in a cafe in Liverpool. I was on the frying pan, you know. Two really? so yeah, two sausages and a black pudding <laughs> roll coming off. But she you would know. do it with such flair and a yes. poem. Can I you imagine this. in that Absolutely. cafe? Yeah. It would be a cabaret. Absolutely. <laughs> Keeps your head together. Yeah. And it, you know, obviously brings you a little few bob in. But I was delighted to get oh, back in and share my assets with everyone else. And top cast, brilliant good. crew. And so all those ingredients were in mm. place. Fantastic. So we'll see it on Friday, 9 o'clock. Yes. Fantastic. I should be watching. I'll be watching Corrie when you come back. And I really like what you this whole thing, this whole look. Lily the Pink. It's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie. Great and to see you. And you, Lorraine. Thank you very Thank much you very indeed. Much.